Hey guys, what's up? And today we have the unboxing of the iPod Nano 6th generation. This is the very cool one with the touchscreen display. So let's unbox it. First we have the Apple wrapping, so let's slide that off. This has never been opened before. On the side here we have a small ribbon seal. Now that we have the plastic piece off, we can pop off the lid and there is the iPod Nano in silver right on its tray, so that looks really awesome. Let's set that aside for a second, and we'll move on. It says, designed by Apple in California, and we'll figure out how to get that up. And it says start here, so let's start here. We just have some instruction manuals and some one mini Apple sticker, which is pretty cool. We have your Apple headphones, as well as a 30-pin connection cable, so let's set those back put everything back in and let's move on to the iPod itself. Hey guys, I'm back after one day of using the iPod Nano 6th generation and I have to say this is one of my favorite devices. It's small and portable and is really fun to use, although it does have a few downfalls with the things it can do for the price, but I guess it will be some things will be updated in the future. There already is leaks that it may be play games in the future. So let me take a closer look at the iPod Nano. Once again on the bottom we have our 30 pin connection cable. This is where you sync it to the computer. Over here we have our headphone jack that does fit with the microphone um, and volume control headphones so don't be worried about there. On the top we have our sleep wake button as well as our volume rockers or volume buttons. Those are nice, those just look like the iPhone ones too. On the back we have a nice clip. This clip is pretty fancy, I've got to say it's nice and strong, so I'm not worried about it falling off. It also has a little grip on the end here, so once again I'm not worried. And that's basically it for the iPod Nano. It's nice and simple and looks extremely elegant. Now on the springboard here, this is the springboard which is your main menu pieces. Um, you have the icons just like on your iPod um, or iPhone. You can hold them down to move them around, which is a nice feature. I've moved um, the playlist and albums to the front here. And then to stop them, you just push the button and they stop wiggling. So let's move through a few of the features this has. Now, of course, we have got playlists and I have dad's and then my music. Um, we have albums, and this will just show us a few albums. This isn't very organized. Uh, I don't like going through the album view, as it's so small you really just can't see it. The next is now playing. This is a very important feature. You can um, go to what's playing right now, or the last played track. It gives you an option to rewind forward um, and play and pause. Here we've got our scrubbing, as well as Genius Mix, uh, looping, and um, go through the album. We can also rate it by clicking this button here and rate the song. Moving on we have radio. This is my favorite feature. You have to plug in headphones to use this. So I've plugged in some headphones and you can see the great interface. It does jump to your favorites so if you're in the car and you want to go through um, it jumps to your favorites uh, and you can preset them. You can skip through just like this and we can stop it and play it. You can also make it so that when you stop it, it records it. You can go over here, you can go to your favorite tags and recent songs, which is pretty cool. And it really gives a nice interface, especially um, easy for the user. Let's just exit out of that. We're pushing all the button here. Settings is where you basically go through about uh, music, general, photos, in general, this is the nice settings. We get wallpaper brightness, radio regions, live pause for the radio, accessibility, and if you want to turn it black on white, so if you have an eye problem, um, that's also there. It also looks pretty cool. Brightness and a whole bunch of other features. In music, we can set our EQ, although I recommend it off. Even if you like bass, you will get better sound quality. You also have the option for crossfade. Um, this just fades your songs into one another. Even if it doesn't sound good, it's still a cool feature to have. Um, next, we've got photos. If we click on that, and you get to see it. It gives a zoomed out. You can zoom it in and scroll around. This is a very nice interface. I don't know if I'd use it much, though. 
Next, we have podcasts. So if you have a podcast, you have genius mixes, which you have to do on the computer. Artists, which is basically your artists, songs, composers, genres. Over here, we have fitness. This is pretty cool. You can put this on your shoe or on your coat, and it will track how many steps you've taken. You just click start. I took a whole 45 steps today. You also have clock. This is cool. You can change that white to black. And voice memos is only going to show up if you have a microphone input. So here I have my Beats cable. If we show you that right there, that's our microphone. And that can record, which is a nice feature. I'm glad they uh, put that in there. And that's basically all we have on it for now. I know there's going to be games and uh, calendars and other things cool like that. Um, and I'm hoping for more in the future. You can't change the background yet, so the one in the back there, you can only pick a few that Apple gives you. Um, you can't put your favorite photo back there, but, you know, they give you quite a few. I like the one that comes with. And in the future, I'm pretty sure they'll let you. So that was a look at one of Apple's newest devices. This is definitely a cool buy. I don't know if it's worth it yet, so I'd... Um, wait out for maybe if there's a second generation. I won this so um, I definitely took it of course um, But I'd say hold off unless you absolutely need a clip and a very cool interface Other than that, this is one awesome looking thing. It has great buttons um, Your sleep and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some cool things coming up with this Maybe some jailbreaking if you're up for that so thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the iPod Nano 6th generation. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment below. Watch my iPod Touch 4th generation review if you want to. That will be some over there in the related searches. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.